Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Stockton Mad of Virals Gaming, with a relatively short commentary. First things first, uh, update. As you might have noticed, I uploaded the case file uh, story, which I probably could have done in one video, but I thought it was longer than it was, and that's my mistake. But I might do a series on my main channel now called. I it was going to be called Mr. Mad Mondays. But I'm not too sure I'm going to do it on Mondays. I might just call it Frightening Fridays or Wicked Wednesdays. Wednesday sounds good, Wicked Wednesday. Which will basically be creepy pastas, poems, and all that good stuff. Because a lot of you have... Uh, there was a... Obviously, I did have a second channel, Mr. Bad. And only a handful of people really got around to having a look at it. So it's been relatively unnoticed. And I haven't really used it much myself. So I'm going to start just uploading the videos on this channel. Which I probably should have done in the first place really. It would have made more sense instead of starting a second channel. But it's here. That's about it really. I'm going to be uploading some of my readings. As well as well as, well as gameplay. Honestly in regards to Call of Duty. It's just been a kind of snooze fest really. Very tedious playing solo. And not very rewarding in the sense that. Even when you win you feel like you're losing. I, well, not losing, but just feels like it just doesn't feel like a good feeling. It just feels like you've got spent six minutes getting annoyed at every little thing imaginable, whether it be quick scopers, shotgunners, pistol users, silencers that seem to outgun everything, and the magic ability to be shot round corners. That's just Black Ops 2 in a nutshell. Ghost is a snooze fest, but I am going to go on it soon and do some live commentary, so that should be fun. <laughs> Guarantee some rage there. Um, but honestly, what does Advanced Warfare need to do? They need to um, seriously balance the game out. Weapons-wise, they need to have so that the snipers cannot quickscope. Because if quickscoping or anything in that is in that game, that makes it cheap, easy, pathetic, and encourages retarded tactics like camping. I'm done. I ain't going to bother. I'm not going to waste time on a game. That is both unrewarding and annoying. Honestly, a lot of my time really has been spent playing Clash of Clans. Now, that is a good game, unlike Snooze Cod. Um, there's not much else I can really talk about, guys. Like I said, it was going to be a short, quick update, really. I know a lot of you share share what I've been feeling about Cod. Uh, I watched Evo McPot and Marquise Wood's last video. And, we got, uh, uh, and both kind of spoke about how they've kind of been getting a bit sick of card almost to be playing other games uh i mean evil evil's commentary I, I wholly agree with it i mean i'm almost in a kind of similar position really that the kind of games get frustrating you get sick of it but you don't want to kind of just quit youtube and you would and, and i don't want to not get advanced warfare because i know that would it would affect my growth it would probably it, i would be left behind and that's the thing you have to kind of make you have to realize sometimes with these things I mean, to be fair, when I saw this channel, I never imagined I would be sitting at 188 subscribers. I would have not only met some amazing people, but really, kind of, I don't know, words kind of can't describe it. But I met some amazing people, and I remember when I first started, and I had like the likes of the Schwantz, a guy with over a thousand subscribers, like my videos, and I was like, holy shite, <laughs> I'm doing something right. And this was before I had HD, so, yeah. I mean, even before I had HD content coming out, I, I had kind of, quite a small support from Distorted Alliance, Dirty Irish, and all that. And then I met all of you as well as, I, as the time went by, and you've all done a lot for me, so I am very... Very thankful. So shout out to you all, really. Uh, I think that'll be it. I don't think there's much else I can talk about other than ranting about how bad Ghost is and how bad COD is. Because that's all we seem to be doing eh, as YouTubers. We all seem to rant about COD. We all seem... I mean, we all look to blame someone. And we all end up blaming Ali and t on, Which is true to some extent because they are a bunch of pricks, to put it bluntly. Because if t Martin didn't have his tips and tweaks, we probably wouldn't have as many campers. But inevitably... Would that make the game any game any different? Here's an interesting fact. Uh, Evil mentioned it in his video. What if Ghost was the first game to come out? Would we still would we ri ridicule it and hate it as much as it is now? Because let's put it perspective for a second. If it was the first Call of Duty game, you have to 
factor in many variables such as quick scoping would that be a factor because bear in mind it's a new code it, it's a new game if it wasn't like brand new like the first in the series so would quick scoping factor into the game maybe not maybe people people wouldn't probably be rushing to snipe as much it would be it would be quite a rushing game actually i think it'd be a totally different game to what it is now and i think it actually would be more enjoyable but it would still get stale after a while because you would think the maps are a bit dull but then again would you think that the dull or would you just think the kind of i don't know it's one of them things you, 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 we don't know for sure what it would be like but i can imagine that camping might not be as bad and quick scoping would not be as bad either i actually think it would be a better game if it did if it was the first in the series not better game but more fulfilling more i don't know I don't know where i'm going with this i kind of went off on a tangent there because i remember that thing from it what he said in these videos uh gotta be careful there because i don't want to pull my mic out <laughs> yeah my laptop kind of fudged up and the mic socket doesn't work so i had to get a usb but it works quite well so it's all good and that's about it guys let me know what your thoughts are in regards to Advanced Warfare. Like, what would you want to see in that game? What do you think we really need to do? Because I think a playlist where it's just gun on gun, team deathmatch, boom. Because I'm sick of all this crappy equipment being put in and kind of spoiling it in a way. Like, flashbacks are so annoying. Tactical inserts are annoying. Everything just seems to be so annoying. <laughs> And then, yeah, that, that's, that's about it. That is honestly about it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. He sat staring at her. The horn-rimmed glasses seemed to shine in the low light. She stood a few feet away from him, her gaze almost hidden by the darkness surrounding them. There was a sudden spark of electricity where she stood. It quickly fizzled out. Only now did he see the source. A taser. She moved towards him, the smile stretching across her face. Hard to believe I thought I knew you. So it turns out Dr. Gareth Aldridge was just an alias. A means of getting a hold of the Genesis replication formula. The man said nothing. As you probably know, since then we have developed many more variants, and well, with only a handful of volunteers, it was inevitable that we would need more drastic measures. Especially with Valkala bearing down on X. He still remained silent. He knew before she even said it. GR-24 is coursing through your veins. Dormant, of course. A good electric shock should awaken it. Well, two might be enough. Who knows? He tried removing his hands from the straps, but it was no use. They only dug deeper. As Eel stood over him, with one final smile, she drove the taser into his chest. The shock caused him to spasm. Throwing his head forward, he nearly threw up. She stepped back, chuckling. Silence quickly followed. She backed away into the darkness, drooped slightly. He saw his left hand go incredibly pale, and then came the ice. It quickly traversed his entire body. He keeled forward, feeling a sharp pain travel up his spine. The chair was soon no more, the ice causing it to fracture. As he dropped to his knees, he watched in horror as the ice spread like wildfire around him. The cold caused the bulb to fail. The pain was beyond intense. With chattering teeth, he managed one final word. Yee. Yee. 